The, the people that are directly responsible for AI getting popular and everyone shitting on artists are artists themselves. What was it? What? Uh, the, the people directly responsible for AI getting popular and everyone shitting on artists are artists themselves. Oh, I mean, they throw was... such hissy fits about it, and it's like, you're right, it is scary that AI is taking over. Uh, stop making it about you and focus on the fact that, like, hey, this shit can, like, get out of hand fast. Oh, no, it was literally just a, an inevitability. Like, I, oh, yeah. I, I straight up called it. The, the moment we started seeing the a, uh, AI become widely accessible, I was like, oh, oh cool, yeah. yeah, this shit's gonna happen. I, I, I didn't think it would be art that happened first. Like, I, I really didn't. Uh, that being said, like, I don't think I don't think I've seen any AI art that I thought was better than Come on. people art. Yeah, no. Uh, I thought it was really weird when those people, like, made the, a, the AI art of the, like, the... Uh, the the chicks in the bikinis, right? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was really weird when they did that. And like, oh man, women are done for. And I was like, guys, I, I literally don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, it, it looks like a stock image. It looks it looks yeah. fake. Like, I, I don't understand what you what what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Like, I, I genuinely think that even if you see a point where, you know, you have that anime that's coming out where they, they had all the backgrounds done by AI. Oh, yeah. the, the the movie that Netflix is, is doing, yeah. uh, where, I think it's a boy, I think it's a boy and his dog. Uh, no, it, it's some, like, fantasy thing. I, I mean, it, it's, little, it's literally about a boy and his dog. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, all the, all the backgrounds are, are entirely done by anime. Our anime AI, and they uh, they said, oh well, we just did that because there was a there's a shortage, there's a workforce shortage, and everyone was like, no, the fuck, there isn't. Yeah, no. Like, I'm actually okay with AI. Yeah, doing boy stuff. and dog was yeah. yeah. I'm I, I'm actually okay with AI taking over stuff like translations, machine translations, and then localizers come in or translators come in. I want to use localizer. That's a loaded fucking term. But, but you know, they they come in and clean it up and, and make it sound like an actual human talk. I'm fine with that. So. You know, just mainly because fuck translators. You 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 all earned the fate you got. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, shit like uh, like AI with with voice. Yeah. That's what scares me. And a lot of people are kind of realizing it with the, the vocal uh. shit. Where it's like, hey, uh, there could legitimately be a case where an AI could like fake a clip of somebody admitting they're a pedophile or yeah. something, and, like, and no, that, could, you know, that, that, that could be used against yeah, them. That's, that's actually thing. fucking terrifying. People didn't realize how like they. They thought it would be like one piece of something at a time, like, oh, it's it's just art for like the next 10 years and that's all anyone's gonna focus on. They didn't realize, like, no, it's literally everything. Everything's gonna happen all at once. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a matter of like, oh, yeah, uh, we, we had the art thing, then we moved on to the, to the you know, writing thing, now we're moved on to the to the voice thing, uh, and the deep fake and shit, you know? Yeah. Didn't I help, uh, didn't AI help Ood Void Tarkin in Rogue One? I don't know fucking I I don't remember Rogue One, honestly. Uh, Max Payne decided that he needs to go out and kill a bunch of Brazilians in his shape. Yes. Yeah. That is that is literally the literally the story of the game. Yeah. It's <laughs> fucking great. I just want to make a, a Xenoblade character to see the anime. <laughs> yeah. You didn't think about what that would cost, though. Yeah. It's your fault. You destroyed the world. No one ever thinks about the cost of... of Fucker! <laughs> Uh, also, broke AI deepfake tech will replace jobs. Woke AI and deepfake will be the biggest tool for misinfo and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Like you, you go like we're we're very fastly approaching the point where like the governments are going to start employing fucking uh, AI to help deepfake other politicians doing fucked up shit. And I don't you, mean you like, thought the grabber by the pussy clip was bad. Yeah. Wait till the shit show of like. Someone deep faking a clip of like a, a politician saying nigger. Yeah. Like, dude, it's gonna be fucking bad. Yeah. The, the real question is. Or when someone what happens... actually is legitimately caught with something oh, yeah. and they say, oh, it's all say, AI. Yeah, I was gonna say, wait, wait till the, the reality of the situation, which is something happens, they get caught doing something, and they go, oh, no, it wasn't me, it was AI. And we have to have a task they, force dedicated to identifying what was made fucking AI. And then they pay off those task force, and they'll say shit that's real is AI, and shit that's yeah. AI is real. Like, yeah. this has such massive potential to go fucking bad. Oh, yeah. Especially when you look into it, a lot of these AI companies have ties to China. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're directly related to Chinese surveillance. Yeah. Like, man, this is a fucking Pandora's box we really don't need to fucking open. Oh yeah. The making the AI with political biases too. That's that's a dangerous fucking slippery slope, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, speaks in Spanish in brackets. 
It's Portuguese, don't worry. Speaks in a Brazilian. China. Yes, many such China. Oh, you <laughs> fucker! Imagine shooting a dude point blank and he just fucking, he just shoots you after you shoot him and he gets back up. Yeah. The last thing you see is a dude taking a bullet to the throat and getting back up. He pops a pain pill and that keeps him alive. Uh, Xander Dawson for, for five dollars. Mexican three gave me a uh, silver lining uh, for having to go with the shaved head beard combo from from going bald. Easy Max Payne costume for Halloween. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not even hard to be Max Payne. You just put on a fucking Hawaiian shirt. Yep. Easy. Some khakis. Jesus Christ, the Portuguese sounds fake as fuck. I'm white. I can't tell what's this one. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, it all sounds. It sounds okay to me. Uh, Chat GPT is already politically biased uh, in its writing AI. It is. It is. Uh, to to be fair, uh, everything I've seen was the political bias and the prompts. Where like, if, if you try and make them write something good about like a you know a, a right leaning politician, they'll go, "Hey, I'm not allowed to write anything that would uh, help benefit uh, you know politicians anywhere at all." But you can you know have you can write Bernie something. Sanders. Yeah, you can have it praise Bernie Sanders or write a Bernie Sanders speech, but you can't have it write a Trump speech. It's like, I'm Brazilian. It sounds like shit. Uh, I remember I was re I think I was reading. Like Imagine a being Brazilian, bro. Yeah. Imagine. I remember I was reading like a, a V thread, and they were talking about Max Payne three, and one of the things they were talking about was like. So one of the big plot twists in this game is that your buddy Passos is Colombian. When when Max <laughs> thought he was Brazilian. Uh, yeah. Apparently a lot of Brazilians were laughing their ass off at it because the accent was so fucking bad. <laughs> and it's like, how do you not fucking know? It does not sound any... Why does everyone else's accent sound different from Passos? It, it's, it's really just because Max is a generic white dude. <laughs> yeah, and everyone's like, dude, I don't fucking know. It all it's, sounds the same to me. It's so, it's so real. <laughs> it's so real. <laughs> Burning sandals. Many such cases. Uh, apparently, Hassan's under fire because he's stealing other bread tubers' content. Uh, he's not stealing it; he's just socializing their content. Yeah, uh, that, that's so funny. It's, that's so funny to me because all the bread tubers do that shit where they just they they do the, the watch along content. Yep. You know, they sit there and they'll they'll watch along and they'll talk and they'll do that for fucking eighteen hours a day and they'll walk away with a couple thousand, yep. uh, a couple tens of thousands in, in fucking Hassan's case. Well, uh, and then they sit there and they go, okay, it's cool whenever I do it to people, but if you do it to my content, yeah. like, that's fucked up. Socialists caring about copyright, how's that? How yeah, right. For a fucking irony. Uh, we'll spend four hours. Jay Longbone did a hilarious vid roasting Sam Smith's new music video. I have no idea who the fuck out of those people uh, are using the AI voice of Morgan Freeman. She wrote the script and had the AI read it. Hmm. I, I, I literally have no idea who those people are. Jay was funny. Oh, and yeah? she's unironically funny. Listen, just because they're funny doesn't mean I'm magically going to yeah. will myself with the door. Who the fuck they are, Lolly? <laughs> uh, imagine being Brazilian. Wow, Shoda, I can't believe you'd be, he'd be like that beside. Imagine being Brazilian, bro. Get mad. Back down. Fucking cope. Fucking cope, Brazilians. Fucking mauled Steve. How's that World Cup victory? I, I, I tell you to go out and touch grass, but I think you get kidnapped by the cartels. <laughs> uh, but I joke to work. Did Brazil win the World Cup? I'm American. I don't give a fuck about soccer. I'm gonna say, why did I fucking uh, the, the World Cup? You mean the fucking Super Bowl? What are you fucking stupid? That's a good point. Yeah. Information age. Now we're in the disinformation age, dude. Like I, I I've been saying it forever, and a lot of people have. Fucking uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 literally predicted the fucking future and we're we're reaching that acceleration point where every day that goes by there's another news headline i'm like man i really don't like that metal gear solid 2 is gonna be right, I, know, right? I, I don't think i'm strong enough to to be riding or snake man i think i'm just gonna be one of the people that's caught up in the fucking patriot shit bro i don't want to be that uh where's that to be born again for a dollar uh just like uh, uh, i just like the ai's used to make joshua graham call him trains and mental train wrecks uh, also, eventually, you're going to see AI-generated porn that's indistinguishable yeah. from reality. You know how that'll be used. Yeah. It's very, it's already very close. Like, people, like, the deepfake technology, you're able to easily deepfake anyone's face over a fucking porn star, dude. That literally just happened with Pokemon. It literally just happened with Pokemon and some other thing. Check. Yeah, it's like, this shit is real. Yeah. Like, it's, it's already happening. Yeah. Uh, my thing is, like... When are we gonna reach the the acceleration point where people are people are using AI technology and shit so they can literally just sell sex dolls of themselves to people out there? Yeah. And it's just, it's just a Futurama. I I was talking about this before the stream started. It's just literally just a Futurama episode with fucking Fry buying the Lucy Lou sex doll. Yeah. Like when are we gonna get to the point where you're like 
Pokimane just breaks down. She's depressed, and she realizes the only way to fucking win is to literally to sell her likeness to make yeah. sex dolls. Well, you, you kind of already got a taste of it with VTubers. Yeah! Uh, all the fucking e-girls that lost their fucking shit when VTubers became yeah. a thing. Like, AI girls are going to be the next step of that. Oh, yeah. Where, where they're kind of realizing nobody wants... No, nobody wants to deal with the, the annoyances of talking to a real person. Yeah. They want a perfectly curated experience where somebody will give them all the right answers. That's what they want. Yeah. Uh, they want Perfect Blue to be their reality, and they are me mania. Yeah. That's all they give a shit about. Oh, yeah. So when AI girls become a reality, and you are able to like, you know, talk to an AI girl or do like that, because there's already like AI. Uh, I was gonna say there. I mean, there's AI VTubers, but there's also yeah. AI programs that you can get on your phone that literally are that. It's yeah. literally just AIs that's supposed to dote on you. The, the sci-fi future that's gonna win out in the end is literally gonna be her. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. That movie's gonna become reality. Yep. Uh, Alchemist uh, 1999 for $2. Play DSX whole games, the MGS2 conversation. I wouldn't say the whole game is, uh, but, but it does yeah, bring it up has, a lot of it. It brings up a lot of it, and it's it's. Like it's it's drip fed throughout the end yeah. the entire game. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. DSX like focuses that. more on on hysteria yeah. and national security yeah. culture. Uh, MGS2 is more explicitly about information and culture yeah. control. Yeah, they are definitely two sides of the same coin. Though. Yeah, two sides of the same coin. Uh, I the weird thing is like DSX goes explicitly into the Illuminati, like yeah. very directly the Illuminati. They name drop it. Yeah. The the Lolly Lule Lo that are the Patriots, like they can very easily be seen as like a you know an an Illuminati allegory. allegory. Yeah, yeah, an allegory to the Illuminati. But I, I the fact that it that the uh Lolly Lule Lo or the Patriots are very firmly rooted solely in, in statism, I think is a very distinct difference. Yeah. From, you know, a, a corporate a corporate based thing where it's a bunch of corporations controlling people as opposed yeah. to government. Uh Metal Gear Solid was explicitly about nations and yes. ideologies. Data sex is explicitly about corporations. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry we got I'm sorry we had to get analytical guys. Yeah. I really like well, both well, of those franchises a lot. Well that's why I say they're two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Uh, I mean yeah, but... MGS2 talks about information control. DSX talks about what information they want to control. Yeah. Uh, also, talk, like I said, it talks about different organizations as well. Yeah. Um, one for five of those funnest vids I've seen on uh, on Karen, Velma, Sweet Home Alone, and Three Six Five Days were all Jay Long uh, vids. I haven't laughed at the start of ages. Okay. Yeah. Genuinely funny. Still don't know who the fuck this person is, Chad. Uh, sigh after barely scraping the bullet shot by Max Payne to his uh, to his head. Full of the CS submitted them. This will help hit the enemy. Pog and Metal for get this. Get this submitted. Translation, fuck the shit, drawing anime titties pays better than the shit. It does, literally. Yeah. It's getting worse. I've seen AI chants that can be programmed with phrases. How long is it going to take you to realize I don't speak your fucking language? Bang, bang, bang. Uh, it's getting worse. I've seen AI chats that can program with phrases and response patterns of characters from fiction. Yes. Yeah. Uh, putting in minimal effort, keeping that text message chats with anime wife who's making real women off of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's all a matter of feeding feeding enough information into an AI and letting an AI learn. Like, uh, I saw I saw earlier today while I was uh, farming in Warframe, I watched a video and it was a dude playing, I can't remember who the dude's name, uh, it, but it was a dude playing Dark Souls 3 and every decision he made, he fed, he fed it through uh, chat GPT, I believe. Uh, and he asked it like, "Hey, uh, what you know, like what stats should I pump in Dark Souls 3? You know, uh, what boss should I fight? I'm at this point in the game and everything." And it, it was very clear that at some points I had literally no idea what what it was doing. Like yeah. it, it got the names of items wrong and stuff like that. And then other times it was scarily coherent and it would give him like yeah, exactly what he needs to do, not what a guide would say to do, what he what he needs to do in his exact situation. Already. Yeah. But it's all about, yeah, I mean, it's literally AI, you know, it learns through iteration, it fucks up, it, it marks that down, that's the old AI, there's a new one, it learns, it's better now. Yeah. Um, the way I kind of, the, the way I'm going to kind of describe it is this, right now it's funny, but it's going to get scary. It's going to get scary, and it's a matter of, like, the government, like, the government's not, not going to be able to fucking do anything about it, like, yeah. like straight up, like, no, just once the source code gets leaked, Javon, all hell breaks loose. Yeah, all hell breaks loose. Uh, and you have things like um, I think it was the I think it was the the writing AI. I believe uh, they've gone back and they made a program that will allow you to identify if something was written by an AI. Yeah. So they've written a program for that. Uh, the fact that that wasn't a fucking contingency plan that literally everybody made to begin with shows the fact that they literally didn't think about this at all. Yeah, like they just said, hey, it's the, it's the equivalent of like 
uh, the fucking like Jurassic like Park thing that, you know, the scientists were too busy at, uh, uh, fucking, okay. whatever, whatever the quote is, whatever, they were too I busy, they were too busy, too busy remember, thinking if they could, that they didn't think about it, they should, yeah, I can't even remember the dude's fucking name, who, who plays that, uh, like, Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum, yeah, there it is, the fly, I was literally thinking yeah. the fly, well, he was, yeah, you're not wrong, mm -hmm. uh, Skynet, where everyone is going to die, no matter what you are, uh, I don't, it's never gonna get Skynet, because, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think the AI would, would, uh, want to kill people, yeah, well, the the idea of self-aware AI by itself is like that's impossible. Uh, it's it's I mean, literally impossible because the 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 effort it takes the human brain to move a muscle. single muscle, yeah. not not even like a, an extensive muscle, like moving your arm, moving a muscle that begins the signal to move other muscles that will then move your arm, mm -hmm. is more than our fucking computers. Yeah. Well, like the the thing about self-aware AI isn't isn't a matter of like it's impossible or anything. It's a matter of AI uh, basically feeds into itself with uh, the whole excel uh, well, uh, accelerationism thing, yeah. where it's it literally just before. reiterates upon itself know. until it, it just keeps like improving ad nauseum on, to no end, like, literally no yes. end. It always just keeps improving upon know. itself. And you have story, you have no, stories it's where it's the the dumb thing, like the Marines hit in a box and they beat, they, you know, they beat an AI out, right? Yeah, uh, that happened in a, in a you know a training thing, really, uh, yeah. supposedly recently. All you have to right? do is feed that data into the next AI, and they'll figure yeah. out a way. Well, it feeds it into itself. Yeah, it, it learns from itself. It, it's making itself better with no human input. So the, the natural endpoint of that, no matter how long it takes, because it, it could take fucking, you know, it could take a week. It could take 10,000 years straight, you know. Uh, Eventually, it'll become self-aware. That is specious logic. I don't think you know what impossible means. That is a good point. I'm basing it off of, you know, our current technology at the moment. There could be a, a breakthrough or an upgrade that just, it, that makes it possible for an entire Android to be built. I'm just saying that the actual extent it would take in order for... AI are basically force-fed meds. It's the basic yeah. of robotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my big thing is I'm not scared of AI becoming self-aware. That, that is not what I'm scared of at all. What I'm scared of is AI being able to perfect replicating a human so well, you would not be able to tell the difference. Listen, we, we, we need to sort this shit out real quick, all right? When it comes down to it, I'm willing fully willing to say i do not support ai rights i'm gonna cut that shit out yeah. right now well that's the thing it, it wouldn't be able to think for itself yeah. it's just replicating a pattern it mm -hmm. learned and mm -hmm. that to me is the scary part well, someone able to script a yeah. human being well it, it eventually gets to the point where it's not the the whole thing about self-aware is it's it gets to the point where it's not replicating something you know it's, it's thinking for itself it's creating yeah it is it is its own thing you know yeah. it no longer has to feed those you yeah. know those those dead iterations into itself to get better it just has already reached its quote unquote it's coming up with its own ideas and its own alternatives yeah uh, its own pathways that's not yeah. what i'm scared of uh, what i'm talking about is simply I'm not thinking about it as an entity i'm thinking about it as a tool someone misusing the tool can cause way more fucking damage oh, yeah, than the, Skynet. Yeah, Rocco's Basilisk devours its own tail. Oh, Rocco's Basilisk is dumb as shit. Like, I, I hate that. I hate that fucking thing so much. Yeah, it's like, eh, that, especially since like it, the entire premise of it is it, it devolves down into, all right, but like, it's better to just feed into the evil for the greater good. Oh, fuck that shit. No, fuck you. Suck my fucking cock. Uh, so replicants from Blade Runner? No, 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 no. no that's not at all what I'm talking about. People keep relating it. For one, replicants were androids. Yeah, they were yeah. Uh, I'm not talking about something that thinks for itself. I'm talking about a tool that becomes so good that it's able to perfectly replicate a human being and make you convinced a human did it. That, to me, is what the endpoint of AI is that's yeah, cool. fucking scary. Essentially, essentially yeah, person, making an AI somewhere. and training it to specifically replicate a person. So, I've say, say for example, uh, you make an AI and you train it to literally just different. become Trump Maybe to the point where it could replace Trump. Yeah, yes. you, could have, you, you could literally have you could literally have voice clips and I, videos of Trump that are so uncanny, like it is imperceptible the difference between it and real life. That's the scary part. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tool. You can use it good or bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's literally true. Yeah. It can be used for good or bad, but you have to understand the bad can be literally apocalyptic bad. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's where I fear monger. I fear monger from the perspective of if this gets so good that it's literally <laughs> impossible. That raised our chances. Literally impossible to tell the difference between yeah. an AI video and voice clip. Yeah. Like a, a deep fake and a voice clip between an actually recorded video. That's fucking scary. He's not the only one. 
Emperor Crimson for two dollars to do Android Dream with electric sheep. Then they do. no, no, no. Once again, that's still that's still self-aware AI. I'm not talking about self-aware. I don't give a fuck about self-aware. Yeah, I'm talking someone explicitly training an AI to replicate a person to cause damage. Yeah, the the and, and do Android uh, Dream with electric sheep. Then like that that's. Or not the brochure, yeah, but uh, that, that's still explicitly something shit. entirely its own. It's thinking it's not, of itself. Yeah, it's not being made specifically to replace. Yeah, something. I, I'm not talking. It thinks of itself and is copying a human on its own will. Mm -hmm. I'm talking someone, a an entity, a person trains an AI to pose as another human being in order to fuck their life up. God, I want to fuck Yang from Ruby. <laughs> There you go. I, I'm just, I'm so fucking terrified of someone making an AI specifically to, to, to fucking go in and replace people that they fucking disagree with. God, I'm stroking my fucking dick. I just, I yeah. just watched five minutes yeah. of Blake porn. It's so fucking good. Yeah, I, I gotta put it like this. The ability to edit reality. That's yeah. what I'm scared of. <laughs> yeah, edit edit re reality as you see fit and be able to, you know, push narratives and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, of that selection for societal sanity thing in Metal Gear, where misinfo creates great unrest, yeah. uh, so people make an like algorithm of separate factions. Like yeah. like uh, or the three other agencies going into a car's AI, making it run off the road and set the car on fire, then blaming the AI. Well, that that at that point, that shit comes down to don't buy self-driving cars. Don't buy self-driving cars. But I mean, dude, if a fucking alphabet agency wants to get to you, you're fucking gone. Oh yeah, no, there could be back doors that you're not even aware of. There are back doors that you're not aware of. One hundred fucking percent. Every fucking every every uh, I think it's my uh, God damn it. I wish I could fucking remember with clarity right now. Uh, like every OS has a backdoor that the government explicitly has access to. Yeah. Every single one. If it's connected to a computer, it's literally I think federal law. There's it is. They have to have a backdoor. They, they have, have to have, to have, have a backdoor. Back uh, for tracking data, yeah. for a browsing history, like. This is why we talked about so the now? idea of internet privacy is literally bullshit. Yeah, right don't be now, retarded. I'm trying, I'm trying so fucking hard. My brain no yeah, work. Uh, minority uh, Report. Hey, no. No. No, no not Minority anyway. Report. That's like hey, bullshit well, psychic stuff. That's, that's fake shit. Rifles, yeah. Stupid idiot killers. fake shit. Stupid, stupid that's pretty much mm. everyone. Uh, I was watching Nick Ricada in the trial. I was in the trial he was watching. They were tracking how many steps a guy's phone recording took. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, I mean, it, it's a thing where we're kind of understanding that the Chinese surveillance system, as ex as obtrusive as it is, is literally the first step to how scary this shit can be. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's as intrusive and horrifying as it is to have live under a fucking surveillance state where you know uh, you do anything that the government just artificially declares to be bad now, and they can fucking track you down to your house uh, using any camera in the entire fucking country and make you fucking disappear. Uh, yeah, it's basically almost impossible to, yep. to get off the grid. Yeah, that's the first step. Yeah. Uh, Juan Lick for $5. I think you just give me some sci-fi movie and short story ideas using the ideas you just mentioned. Yeah. Better write it before the AI starts. There you go. Like, it, it's a thing where everyone loves the idea of the, the self-thinking robot, because we, we, we like our fantasy creatures, and the self-thinking robot's one of them. It's the most popular one. I'm just saying, I will sacrifice myself to the AI overlords if it gives me a good, nice, hot sex butt. Thank yeah. you very much. But, like... That's just the the easy to digest mm -hmm. answer, when the truth is, dude, the the reality of it will literally make it impossible to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. A hot take: the Chinese spy balloon is bait. China has TikTok. Why are they using the spy balloon? Yeah, pretty much. It's like, yeah. and, and and even if you want to use the excuse that they're trying to get uh, images of our nuclear uh, mm -hmm. silos, you can find that shit on Google Maps. Like literally, Some that you can. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of the times, if you go on Google Maps, they, they fucking explicitly that blur that shit out. Yeah, they do. Um, North Korea, I think they literally just blur the whole country. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I would go as far as to say it's an op. Uh, it could be. It could very well just be an op. I don't know what's in the news that yeah. they would want people to forget. So I don't, I, you know, I'm very reluctant to say that it's an op, but... Uh, I'm about to start reading the first chapter of Berserk. Any song recommendations? First, so Black Swordsman. Uh, converge. Mm. You know, hard, hardcore shit. That's good for it. Will, Guts, or will life become like Gantz or Flam? I fucking hope not. Oh well, man, Gantz is not. Yeah, Gant, Gantz isn't. Gantz isn't AI. I mean, it's a, it's an alien. It, it's eldritch alien stuff in modern day. Like all the sci-fi stuff is explicitly aliens. 
Yeah, reality attack. will be cyberpunk without the, without the, the, the cool Bronco. implants. Just yeah. uh, instant Probably gaslighting and digital crash. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, going to be a mixture of her and Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah. Uh, Tudor, I, I, I've just I just recently gotten into that one thing you recommended uh, a while ago. Fucking uh, all, no, not all tomorrow's Eve, motherfucker. You'll know what I'm talking about, you, you silly Billy. You'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I think I know how sci-fi writers felt when writing their stories of warning about the dangers of the future. Yep. That's the thing. Um, a lot of the time when uh, they wrote about the future, they're writing about shit that showed up that week. Um, George Orwell, when he wrote 1984, he was literally just basing it off of Stalinist Russia. Yeah. Literally just, this is life in Soviet Russia. Here's your government issued companion droid. We appreciate you selling out to the Overlord as art of the Tave Zero program. Listen, if you want me to fuck that thing, you've got another thing coming. I'm about to catch some, about to catch some bullets. About to catch these hands. Catch these fucking hands. Emperor Christmas for Dolan's. Where's Asimov when you need him gone? Yeah. Perished. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I would, I would assume you would uh, put in some fucking code in there that goes, "Hey, don't do anything that would harm humans just into your AI." But then again, office, huh? what happens whenever you reach the point where your AI can just rationalize around yeah. that? <laughs> Uh, what are your favorite convert songs? I really like Pearl Bloom. I really like Dusk and Us. There's a lot of good ones. As stated, I don't care about self-aware AI because that's not the scary part. The scary part is someone weaponizing AI in a way that you literally can't tell the difference between reality or not unless you physically go to a location yourself, which a lot of the time is not going to be what it's used for. Oh, not at all. It's going to be used to fake footage in a war zone. It's going to be used to fake conversations between individuals yeah. like that that i guarantee fucking tee you if the vokaru uh source code gets leaked because i know they limited it because they actually were like scared where people were making uh famous people say yeah. slurs and shit with the ai oh, yeah. yeah they like the first one the first one that took the hit was biden like yeah. straight up but uh fucking if it leaks out or it becomes mainstream again you are going to have a controversy where somebody admits, quote unquote, to being a pedophile and it's completely made up voice clip. Yeah. Or they admit to raping a girl or, oh, yeah. killing, or killing somebody. Yeah. I mean, it, it's absolutely going to be terrifying. That is the scary part. Yeah. You know, everyone wants to think about Skynet because that's the cool part, fighting mm -hmm. robots and all that. No, no, no. Robots? No, that's the fun part. No, you'll, you'll be tricked oh, into shit. killing yourself. You will never be able to trust anything you watch I'm ever again. Yeah. Uh, Burn and Chad Baron for 350 thoughts on Razor Fist, Razor Fist video from a year ago about China. He raised a good point about China being a paper tiger, but I feel like he missed a few points about the soft power China can wield. No, he, he's right. China is absolutely going to fall apart. It's literally just they're propped up through sheer brute force and refusing to back down. That is literally what's happening. China is the most persistent dictatorship in all of history because multiple times over, they should be fucked up. They directly caused COVID. They should be fucked up. Uh, they committed multiple genocides on their own people and 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 the you know muslims closer to the step you know the the Uyghur muslims all yeah. that's like yeah that should have also caused something like they just bully ahead through sheer fortitude and that's why they're able to to force past the bad times and get to a position where they can kind of prop themselves up I mean, as kingmakers coast it out right yeah direction. coast it out that's it china will last at least another 40 years yeah. oh easily Easily. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, people don't understand how hard it is to crumple a fucking uh, nation. Yeah. Right? Especially but when it's held together through sheer military power. Through bad. sheer military power. Hypothetically speaking, if AOC were to undo her pants and let me gaze upon her luscious Latin bush, I would then be obliged to take a sniff. Would I not? And then, by that logic, she would let me take my pinky finger and scoop a little bit, not a lot, of her beaver stank out of those panties, hypothetically speaking.